Hey, Sonic Groover here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to some more sci-fi discussion. Really some recommendations on short fiction if you want to read science fiction. Science fiction classics in particular, the short fiction format. So we're going to start with Isaac Asimov and his short stories. Now, this video is not going to cover all of his short stories because there are a lot of them out there. But um, I do want to recommend this book, at least to, to get your feet wet with some good short fiction. And it is called The Bicentennial Man and Other Stories. And it's got this abstract art that kind of evokes that old pulp era, you know, the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and go through quickly the table of contents. Um, it's, it's one poem to start you, and that is called The Prime of Life. And then we have 11 titles. And I'm just going to go through those 11 titles real quick and then give you my recommendations, my highly recommended pieces of fiction to get started on when you're reading science fiction. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So The Prime of Life is a poem. Um, it's, it's a good poem. It's a poem. Um, but starting after that is called Feminine Intuition, Water Clap, That Thou Art Mindful of Him, Stranger in Paradise, The Life and Times of Multivac, The Winnowing, The Bicentennial Man, Marching In, Old Fashioned, The... I'm going to get this word right. The Tercentenary Incident and Birth of a Notion. So that's 11 titles plus the poem. And I want to give you two stories that I highly recommend. The first one is a masterpiece, and it really does read like a novella. It, it's a little bit longer, longer than a short story, and that's called The Bicentennial Man. Um, I give it a five out of five stars. In fact, I'm going to give you probably sometime this month an in-depth video es essay, kind of an old uh, old school video essay analysis of this story because it is so wonderfully done, so wonderfully executed. So The Bicentennial Man, you can't, you can't go wrong with, with this story. Uh, it deals with um, a robot and humanity and the conflict between this robot protagonist and humanity. And if you want something shorter, the second story that I recommend is That Thou Art Mindful of Him. This also has to do with mechanical men and what, what it's like to be a robot and really some thought-provoking ideas. If you, if you want robot stories, you got to go to Isaac Asimov. He has some very interesting implications on where we would be if we had such a society of robots existing. So very interesting stories. Um, that's really what I would recommend as far as starting uh, the road down to, you know, Start, starting down the road to reading short fiction, but I will give you honorable mentions as well. Um, one honorable mention is water clap. So like the word thunderclap, but just for water. Uh, it's a very highly uh, uh, dramatic piece of fiction. Uh, it takes about, I would say, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe up to two hours, depending on how late in the night you're reading. <laughs> Um, but it is actually a real thrill of it's, it's very dark. It's very somber. It has, it does have some political implications and some of the politics, uh, with Isaac Asimov, you kind of, if you're, if you're more conservative or li libertarian, you kind of have to overlook some of, um, Asimov's, uh, politics, but if the story is good, it, it, it doesn't matter. And it's not, it's not beating you over the head with politics. There, there are some things he, he kind of plays around with feminism. He kind of plays around with environmental science. I think he was a strong believer in environmental science, and he probably had different beliefs and, and strange beliefs. That's not going to phase me if I read a good book of his. Um, I, I think actually in this book in particular, I was reading the forward or just a, you know things to uh, the, the preemptive piece of writing usually it comes in the form of a letter when it's when it's an old sci-fi writer and i think he had an editor like a, a magazine editor say well why can't there be a female robot you know like it's, it's a woman who's an editor and um so i think he if he did play with feminism um it's early stage feminism it's not like what we see now <laughs> and also his editors were all women, and he had very strong connections, very uh, strong friendships, really good friendships with these women. So um, I can imagine some of his, the, the, the digs at, at certain individuals here are more for the editor's sake. So you kind of have to see past that. Uh, feminine intuition, I 
didn't like for that reason. Um, another one, I, I mean, I would, I would read Feminine Intuition if you can go past the politics. Um, just, just go past it like I did. <laughs> it's, it's not that great a story, so you can, you can skip it. But it has to do, actually, it is in the robot world. So if you want a better understanding of uh, the robots um, in, in this particular world, uh, I, I would read Feminine Intuition just for the sake of world building. One I would not recommend is uh, Stranger in Paradise. Um, it wasn't that well written, and it was it was a little too uncomfortable a topic. Um, and in fact, what looks to be and this this might be a little bit partial as far as morality and heroics is concerned. But what what is seen as a scientific breakthrough for the good of humanity actually is kind of dark. So if you want, if you're curious, read Stranger in Paradise. But um, it's actually not that well written either. So. I would say that's not a story I would recommend. Uh, so Water Clap is something I would recommend. And then also The Winnowing. Uh, Water Clap is a little bit long, so it takes probably an hour to two hours to read. Um, Winnowing is actually much shorter, and it is it is pretty impactful. It's, it's a very dramatic. It's got a very dramatic trajectory. And then Old Fashioned. Old Fashioned is, I would give it a B- as a short story, but it's, it's, a, it's a good one. It's nice and short, and it's... It's dark. It involves a black hole, but it has an optimistic feel to it as well, uh, an, an optimistic twist uh, toward the end. So, um, I so those are my honorable mentions: uh, Waterclap, The Winnowing, and Old Fashioned. Um, so that thou art mindful of him, if you want a, a good introduction to uh, Isaac Asimov's robots. Um, but man, you just can't go wrong with the bicentennial man. It's just so good. I'm not talking about the film. I haven't seen the film. <laughs> the story is wonderful. So um, this might be just a video, you know, a part of a series uh, going forward because I, I have read other stories of his, but I just wanted to start with this compilation. So The Bicentennial Man and Other Stories, this is the title. It was published and released, I think, 1976. And you've got all, all sorts of stories written from maybe the late 50s all throughout the 60s. So anyway... Uh, I hope that helps. If, if you're looking for um, getting into science fiction, some classic science fiction, I want to be there to help you out because I've been enjoying a lot of short fiction. Some are, you know, some blow me away and some are not so great. So I do want to give you my recommendations. In any case, uh, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And until I see you next, keep producing, preserving, and promoting the good art and literature that you love. And I will catch you later.